Bahrain Grand Prix. We hope you're ready for an exciting evening's action. Welcome to Bahrain. As we're going to race as Nico Rosberg from pole position. We're going to try strategies. So we're going to actually try and win from the front row and start. We'll start the the medium tires. Alright, so let's get ready to race. It's lights out and away we go, it's a great start. That's not a really good one for Hamilton, but we will say. As I turn to cut him off. We break, oh no, we've gone very light. No breaking away, but we pulled so far ahead from the pack that we are going And we're going to go, we're pulling really far away from our team. I think Ricardo has gone Hamilton. So Hamilton is not doing well in the first stint. I think he's getting overtaken by another car as well. Try not to go wide in there. Hamilton's still in third, but Ricardo is catching up to me. Oh, we got, we got a pull away from him. The one I hate the most of any track. I do when you have to break twice. We're on, now we're on a different strategy here. We're going to pit at lap 6 of, seven, of 8 because this is how far the tires can go. So we're going to try and stay out and up very quickly. No, then Ricardo's coming up. Everyone's coming, closing up on Nick on us. No, we go very well after clipping the curve. Now we that's as we push very. Right, no DRS until lap three. We've taken a one minute forty five point six hundred thirty two second lap. Kimi Raikkonen is also overtaken Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton is not already not having a good start to really again. Well, do I'm actually actually had to punt with this race since we've got the Bahrain Grand Prix coming up. Look, it's race week, so who are your predictions? And for the for to the race on Sunday. Well, for me, actually, my prediction is that I, I want Sebastian Vettel to win, of course, because he's my favorite. As we go very wide, and now now Ricardo's up my gearbox, but we're slightly pulling away from him. Well, Bottas should finish ahead of Hamilton. That's my prediction, and Charles Leclerc to get a podium in Bahrain. That is my prediction for the podium. So I hope that's gonna happen in Bahrain and and also Pierre Gasly can score some points and because he because of his bad qualifying last time it looks like Raikkonen is got over Ricardo I think someone's oh there's someone someone's off that's Vet Sebastian Vettel Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's gone faster than me, so we need to watch out for that. It's because he's still in purple. He set up. He just set a purple lap time. Nope, I changed the camera by accident. Sorry about that. That was my mistake. I'm sorry about it because I'm playing on the handphone. And this one is very sensitive right here. But oh, Hamilton has gone past Vettel. This is not what I want to happen. So, Hamilton's got the same pace as me and probably is even faster. So I don't want him to get try and defend very well. But we go wide. Very, very wide. And I think Hamilton's gonna go through. Yes, he is. 
Now we have to chase him. Chase Lewis Hamilton down. I think he's lost traction. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go to the inside of soon I think a bit of a contact. Oh, oh spun! Battle's gone ahead. Hamilton's I think I hit him. So we got a lot of battle to go through as I tried to pass. Because I also took a spun. I mean the, sorry, I mean I took a spin around and I had to correct it. Because of that, now Vettel's gone past us. Okay, we're gonna go to... We just did a supreme dive bomb over there on Sebastian Vettel. And Vakulin's also gone past, past Lewis Hamilton. As we DRS our way out of the... Slap 4 out of 8. So we're halfway through this race. Roman Grosjean said the fastest lap of this race. I don't know. Jensen Button now and the current Honda also said the fastest lap of this race. So uh, Vettel is coming on. Vettel's go coming on me. Right, so now we go to this corner. We try and pull away from Sebastian Vettel, of course my idol, my favorite driver in Formula One, driving for Scuderia, being the Scuderia Ferrari team. Take it easy here. No, we've gone wide again, but we just managed to hold ahead of Sebastian Vettel as he's made a mistake. Actually, yeah. Uh, I don't know what Hamilton was thinking here. I I clearly spaced him. I got I think I got hit from him. Somehow gone spun out. Got him spun. Hamilton lost space as well. Hope we're not repeating Spain 20. That's a problem for me. But see my tire wear is kicking in. And Vettel is now catching up on me. Both Ferraris have gone very. Both Ferraris are catching up on me. Yep, none of them. They're not taking. Someone's going on. That's Veto's coming out. Veto's coming alongside me. Break as late as possible. I'm gonna have to pit. I'm gonna stay out and pit in lap six. Yeah, I can see that there's the wear kicking on my tires. That's allowing Vettel to catch up. Oh, we've gone very wide again. Vettel's gone past us. Where is Lewis Hamilton? Hamilton's gone. He's disappeared from the lap. Maybe he's pitted? I think he has pitted. We're trying to get past Vettel. Vettel double lock up for him. That's a long enough to get into the mix. He pushes us into the... He pushes us... us off track. He's like, he put... What is he doing? What's Vettel doing there? He pushed me off the track. So now we're going to try and slip stream him. He's pulling away though. The Ferrari engine has got great power in it. Watch a collision. Don't, don't turn into him. I'm going, I'm going to try and pull him. Vettel's diving in! Now we're gonna have to pitch soon. Because I don't, if not my tires are gonna, my tires are gonna die out. Kimi Raikkonen has not pitted yet, as well as Philippe, as well as Massa. Yeah. 
is right again around the zigzag corner. Now we go through this hairpin. Now we're going to the uh, the part where I hate the most in Bahrain. The the breaking turns the breaking zone. We have to break and break again. Whoa! I'm almost taking a spin over there. There's a lot of people are pitting in. No, it's gone very wide. Hey, yeah, I move these three are going to pass me. That's the one. That's bad because that means I have to pit. Tyler is getting even worse. Rosberg, Raikkonen, Massa, and, and another driver are all behind my back. I don't think I'm even gonna win this race anymore. Alright, so now it's time for strategy time. We're gonna come, we're gonna dive in. Raikkonen's not gonna dive in. Massa won't dive in. Rose John has been P4 and he's gonna be the one that's diving in. Uh, I hope they're gonna get held up. Now, okay. We're gonna reach a, We got no damage and we're gonna change into a self, super softs. Here's Veto. Let's go get out. If I guess. And we're out in P4. Let's go catch him with pretty quicker. These are. Uh, this new fresh set of tires. The way Veto has taken off, I think. Yeah, I cannot find him on the map. Now we have. That means we have to push very hard. And I, I know Veto has made his pit stop, so he's good. He, he, he's jumped me, and he's like 14 seconds away from me. And the undercard may have, would have has worked for Veto, but he's over there. I can see him on the map now. Behind me, Roman Grosjean's behind me. And I have to be wary of that. Mm, goes, this is a good performance for the Haas team in P5. Trying to close up on him. I think Vettel Reckonen has not pitted yet, so he may pit on this lap. Massa, I'm not sure if he has pitted or not, but I'm pretty sure he has not pitted. That means Veto and Rai are going to be finishing 1 and 2 if both of them pit. So we can see if anyone has pitted. Nobody has pitted. That means Raikkonen. Oh, oh, someone going out. That's Massa. Flip. We get ahead of Felipe Massa. That's a podium for us, but oh, we need to defend the Massa as they drove to, as they drove the car too slowly over there. But Kimi Raikkonen is in the lead of the race, but that means, but he has not pitted, or has he? I wonder why Massa chose to pit very late. His tires will have died up by then. So now we're going back to the corner again. It's full, full power now. Let's go and get the. I don't think I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, I can catch Veto or not. Because we're almost nearing the end of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Kimi Raikkonen crosses the line to win the, to win the, in the Bahrain Grand Prix. And we're closing in.
Will we get Vettel? But oh no, we've gone very wide indeed. I think Vettel is going to finish. Yes, Vettel will finish ahead of us. It's going to be P3 for us. But not a bad way, even though we did not meet our objective. What a way to finish the race in the Sia. It's a, so it's a Ferrari 1 2. And then we have what? I wonder where is Rio Harianto is in P7. Jensen Button P6. Rowan Gross on P5. Great, great stuff for the midfielder team. Walter Bottas still goes to P8. And Ricardo goes to P9. Verstappen didn't even finish in the points. Hamilton all dropped down 10 places. This one doesn't even get any points. Who we'll finished last? Marcus Ericsson finishes last. And Warline only manages to get up to 18. Nazar only got up to 16. Alonso dropped back. And Hulkenberg, despite setting fastest laps, he, he, he ends up in P9. So that's it for the Bahrain Grand Prix weekend. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.